like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. The links are below. But before we get into the presentation, a quick disclaimer. This presentation is prepared for educational purposes only. This presentation is not legal, tax, or any other type of advice. Each individual's circumstances are different. You should seek legal and or tax advice to address your specific situation and any questions you may have. Let's get into it. Welcome to our latest video. Can I put my money in a foreign trust, foundation, or company and save on taxes? This is actually more of a public service announcement than anything else. Um, the short answer is no, at least not as an American. I decided to do this video aimed at Americans because this is a question that I am getting a lot from American clients lately. I'll save you guys all some money in paying me for a consultation. The short answer is you cannot put your money in a foreign trust foundation or company and save on taxes. Why not? Because almost every scheme that you can think of to use a foreign trust foundation or company to save on taxes, the IRS has thought of and legislated against it. Now, I know this video is just aimed at Americans. I get this question from non-Americans as well, and I will do another video aimed at everybody else. Uh, because the U.S. system is fairly unique compared to most other systems. The video that I do for, for everybody else will be very generalized, not so specific, because every country has their own rule. So let's talk a little bit about the specifics of why you can't put your money in a foreign trust, foundation, or company as an American and save on taxes. So first of all, foreign trusts. And there's this big common misconception when it comes to foreign trusts that you can put your money in a foreign trust and save all this money on taxes. I think that a lot of this is propagated through movies and TV shows and stuff like that, that you can use these foreign trusts to shelter a bunch of income. But as an American, that's not really the case. So when a US person transfers property to a foreign trust that has or permits US beneficiaries, the transferor is treated as the owner of the transferred assets and liable for the taxes generated by, or liable for taxes on the income generated by those assets. Now, what's important here is that this word, that this phrase permits you as beneficiary is very broadly construed. So let's say, for example, you form a foreign trust uh, as an American and you transfer a million bucks to it and it has American beneficiaries. You're gonna be treated as the owner of the assets in the trust, you're gonna be liable for the taxes on the income generated by those assets. But now let's say that you're an American, you form a foreign trust, and the foreign trust document actually says that, for, that US beneficiaries are not permitted, but the trust is amendable, and you could hypothetically amend it to include US beneficiaries. Most likely, the U.S. is going to treat that as permitting U.S. beneficiaries because in the remotest sense of the word, it could have U.S. beneficiaries if it were to be amended, in which case you would be treated as the owner of the assets that you transferred to the trust for tax purposes and liable for the taxes income on the income generated by those assets. So this basically means, as an American, in 99% of the cases, if you transfer assets to a foreign trust, you're still going to be liable for income taxes on the income generated by the transferred assets. Uh, there's also some potential tax consequences when you die, but that is for another video. So let's talk about foreign foundations. Now, foreign foundations are generally treated the same as trusts. So the exact same tra tax treatment that I just discussed for trusts would in 99% of the cases also apply to foreign foundations. Now you have to be very careful of who you're listening to when it comes to, to foundations because a lot of foreign prom promoters that I've seen claim that if you transfer assets to a foreign foundation, even as an American, that the income generated by those assets is not gonna be taxed by the US. 
That's not the case. I'll give you an example. I was at a conference in the UAE where a corporate service provider was presenting to a group of potential American real estate investors. And their pitch was, listen, buy your UAE real estate through a foreign foundation because that way the asset doesn't belong to you for tax purposes and all the income that's generated within the foundation is not going to be attributable to you for U.S. tax purposes and you won't have to pay tax on it until you take it out. Uh, that is absolutely not the case. The, the foundation, as I described before with the trust, is generally treated like a trust and if it has U.S. beneficiaries or is permitted to have U.S. beneficiaries and you as a U.S. person transfer assets to it, you're going to be liable for the taxes on the income generated within the foundation. So a lot of times the tax treatment that the promoters are, are, are sort of selling is based on how the rest of the world is treated and they just assume that Americans are treated the same, meaning that the income within the foundation isn't attributed to them. And that's just not the case, right? So that's why foundations generally don't work to help you save on taxes in America. Now, finally, foreign corporations. And again, this is one of those things that I think is very, has been popularized by movies and stuff like that. Like, oh, put your money in a Cayman corporation, you don't have to pay taxes. Does not work. So foreign corporations owned by US persons are generally treated as what's called a controlled foreign corporation or a CFC for US tax purposes. Now, if a company is a CFC, profits generated within that company are generally attributable to the US shareholders that own the CFC. And there's two general regimes that attribute that income to the US shareholders who are then liable for the tax. So the first is subpart F. Subpart F income is essentially passive income, right? So interest, dividends, rents, royalties, and capital gains. Now, if a foreign corporation has subpart F income, that subpart F income is attributed pro rata to its shareholders who have to pay tax on it, whether or not they actually receive the money from the CFC. So that means you could have a CFC with like a million bucks in uh, subpart F income, and the U.S. shareholders are going to have to pay tax on their pro rata share of that income, regardless of whether or not they actually receive cash from the company. Now, assuming it's more active income and not passive income that would be subpart F, so basically everything that is not subpart F is going to fall into global intangible low tax income or guilty for short. And again, guilty is basically anything that's not subpart F. And again, U.S. shareholders are going to be liable for tax on the corporation's guilty income, regardless of whether or not they actually get the cash. Now, in some circumstances, if it's structured properly, the guilty tax rate can be less than the U.S. shareholders' tax rate, which can provide some tax savings in limited circumstances. But generally, those are only going to be worth it if you're a large multinational corporation because to set up the structure, to maintain the structure, to do all of the tax filings and compliance work to be able to you know, stay legal with the US tax system is a lot of cost and work. And usually, unless you're a big multinational corporation, the savings just aren't going to be worth it. I hope you guys have found this video useful and that you understand that you usually cannot use foreign trust foundations and companies to save on taxes. There are other very good reasons for using them. And again, in international business, there are some limited circumstances where you can save on, on taxes using foreign companies. Hope to see you on a future Esquire Group video. Thank you.